Before you speak, know that in Sparta, everyone is held accountable for the words of his voice. Now, what message do you bring? One sort of passionate life, and that's the life of spirituality. Spirituality is a kind of attachment to humanity and the universe as a whole. My fascination with this spiritual quartet derives from another interest, the same concern that led me to the study of religion and philosophy in the first place, the desire to know how to live life well. But spirituality, I want to argue, is a matter of passion. It's not just a matter of philosophy. It's not just a matter of rationality. It has to do with feeling the world in a certain kind of way. It's that idea, looking up at the stars at night and having that sense that my personal self is not all there is to the universe. That's what spirituality is. One thing I've learned is that happiness is a choice. When you wake up in the morning, you can choose what kind of day you're going to have. You can choose to be in a good mood or you can choose to be in a bad mood. You can choose to live this day happy, excited, expecting God's goodness, or you can choose to be irritable and sour and just try to make it through. How you live your life is totally up to you. There's a doctrine in philosophy. I'm going to refer to it as non-voluntaristic existentialism. And that view is the view that the choice is not over who you are, but over whether you will pursue this self. The question is granted that there is a somebody that you are. Are you going to take that journey and find that self and become fully that self to make the decision pursuing the becoming of that? true self. What should we do? Could it possibly be true that there are two kinds of life and a choice has to be made between them? One kind of life, the aesthetic, the other, the ethical. Oh my. But all the so-called joys and pleasures, the excitements of life can be lived out in the context of the ethical. What can we do? How you live your life is totally up to you. It's not dependent on your circumstances, it's dependent on your choices. What can you do? The ethical life is a life in which one despairs over who and what one is. One might not know who one is beyond that one wants pleasures. One might wonder whether one really has a self. But as one turns into the ethical life, one takes as one's task, trying to determine whether one has a self and pursuing the becoming of that true self. The real problem for most of our lives is boredom. And some of us realize that and look for things that will turn us on, episodes that will engage us. Some of us don't even realize that that's the problem in our lives. Is it true that we are all basically fighting boredom, whether we realize it or not? Could it be true that in everything we do, we seek ways to get turned on, excited, our minds off the ordinary? Should we engage in that activity? Well, Kierkegaard says, yes, because only through living the aesthetic life fully will we ever get beyond it. If you make that decision, then you're going to control your impulses and you're going to control them out of a sense of duty and out of a sense that what really matters is the quest for selfhood. If you make yourself more than just a man, if you devote yourself to an ideal, and if they can't stop you, then you become something else entirely. Legend.